What is it like to be black and blue in America in 2020? I had a chance to sit down with Major Brian Polite of the New Jersey State Police to discuss that topic. What's it like to be an African-American law enforcement person in 2020? Well, I will tell you this. Um, one of the things that's been said is that most African-American police officers have to decide whether they're black or whether they're blue. I I'll tell you this for a fact. I was a black man before I had this uniform on. I'm, a, I'm going to be a black man when, it's, when I'm no longer wearing this uniform on. So I just want to make sure that's, that's clear. Now recently, Polite and nine other African-American troopers had a chance to sit down with their boss, New Jersey State Police Superintendent Pat Callahan, to further the conversation. So was there stuff you didn't know before talking to these gentlemen that, that enlightened you? Uh, just to hear their perspective and their stories, not only about their upbringing, but the pressures upon them and the things that they've seen, not only within our outfit, but uh, in the public. And, a, and a really just opened my eyes to a different, uh, their their perception. So uh, tell me about your police ID and your running shoe. What was that story all about? My state police ID I kept in my shoe because honestly, I felt like if, I didn't feel like my fear at that time wasn't that, you know, I was gonna get mugged or someone was gonna come and, you know, you know, harass me. I felt like my fear when I went jogging is that someone was gonna call the police on me. Hmm. That was my fear, that I was gonna, that someone was gonna call the police on me. And if they do, I felt like, I can explain to them that I'm jogging, whether they believe it or not, and, but I know I can equalize that situation to a certain degree if I show them my police ID. Now, like many spouses, law enforcement officers try not to bring their work home with them. But on one particular occasion, that was an unavoidable event for Major Polite. My wife was watching the news and started crying because of what she was seeing on the news, which I'm sure a lot of people are doing right mm -hmm. now. And when she saw um, a black commentator, um, reporter on CNN get arrested, for some reason she just broke down because she, she felt like, um, you know, black people are not being fairly treated, you know, on the streets during the protests. And then she also said to me, well, I don't feel like that, you know, you, you talk to me enough about what's going on, about this situation, what's going on in the streets, what's going on at your job. Me coming home every day to tell her about my, you know, my day or what I'm seeing is somewhat re-traumatizing. But I also had to understand that in order for her to understand what I'm going through and to keep those communications line go lines going, for her to understand what I'm going through as, you know, a, a black trooper and a black man in this world, that um, I got to communicate that with her. As a member of the New Jersey State Police, do you feel any discrimination among the ranks? Do you feel it? To say that I've never felt any type of discrimination would, wouldn't be accurate. Um, you know, we, you felt discrimination walking into a supermarket, walking into a department store. Why wouldn't I feel discrimination in my job? So as you can see, being black and blue in America in 2020 presents its own unique set of challenges. In Trenton, Phil Andrews, New Jersey News Network.